welcome back everyone we're here another vlog well it's not a, it's not really a vlog yay good job sophia so for the new, for the new ones my name is razel this is selby hi and this is sophia and we are the justices yay <laughs> We are so ecstatic to announce that we have partnered with a children's clothing brand called April Moon Boutique. Yay! I have attached their link down below, so click on that. And if you want a 25% discount, just type in TJFAM25. <laughs> Yay! Okay, bye bye. They sell very cute clothes and we are waiting for the ones that we've ordered. So when we get it, when we get here, um, then we will show you just a small info about April Moon Boutique is that a portion of the proceeds goes to an organisation called Crossroads for Women supporting um, people leaving uh, domestic abuse and helping them um, have a fresh start so click that link down below and please support them it will also support us just a little notice um, some of these people that have asked us questions do have YouTube channels and we will link them down below and we'll show somewhere on the screen um, a little of about their channels so let's begin question one is from Elena who's one of our friends and one of Sophia's Ninangs and she asks who is her favorite Ninang Ninang means godmother. Who's your favourite, Sophia? Sophia's got three. Three godmothers. Okay, are you leaving now? Okay, bye. Now you need to sit here. I'm going to take that as all of them. Ooh. Okay, question two is from Von, who is one of our friends. And he asks, who is the most favourite, mum, dad or Rob? Rob is my brother. And I'm going to say me. <laughs> Obviously, I'm going to say me. Rob would probably say me. Yeah, definitely me. Question three is from a fellow YouTuber, Alice. Her link will be down, as Razor said, below. And she asks uh, two questions. What's her favourite food? What's your favourite food, Sophia? Sophie's not very picky. She will eat everything and try anything. Um, but favorite probably be like banana. Banana. Yeah. Well, as a fruit banana, but as a cooked food, uh, I'd say um, mixed veg. Yeah, she loves vegetables. Yeah. Very healthy. And Alice's second question is, at how many months did she start walking? How many months? Uh, it was about, just about 11 months. Yeah, She yeah. started up walking. Um, she just randomly surprised us by trying to let go of the sofa yeah. and taking a step. Yeah, she still prefers crawling, but she's definitely favouring walking a lot more now. Okay, next question is from Christina another YouTuber, link down below. She also has two questions. Uh, first was, how was your pregnancy with her? My pregnancy was, um, I don't want to say easy, because pregnancy is never easy, but it's, uh, there's a few shocks, yeah. because they say that there are patterns in their movements, 
but Sophia literally moves at random times. So there has been times when we've been to hospitals just to check on her. But I'd say a bit. What would you say? I'm hesitant, I'm hesitant to say normal because we did have a few, like you said, bits where we had to go and get checked and growth scans and things. So, but in terms of for you, you didn't get that, you know, you got a bit morning sickness, but you weren't really suffering with it. It was just towards the end, she was humongous. <laughs> Couldn't get out of bed. Huge. <laughs> just waiting because Sophia was overdue. Uh, Christina's second question is How did you guys choose the name? How did you choose the name? did I choose the name? Um, well, I was just looking up on Google on um, baby girl's names, well, on neutral names at the start, but she was supposed to be called Kyrie, but Selby couldn't say the name right. I still can't. So I decided to change it and I bumped into Sophia, which means wisdom in Greece. Yeah, so it's spelled uh, S-O-F-I-A. Yeah. Okay, next one is from Katie, who is also another YouTuber, uh, link down below. She's asked three questions. First was, how long was your labour and delivery with her? Ah, okay, fine. So, oh, um, labour was about 17 hours and delivery... I'd say I was pushing like the maximum, like two, almost two hours or something. They were gonna take me to the um, theatre to the theatre to get me cut, but she started coming out <laughs> eventually. <laughs> yeah. Second question was: Was she born with hair or bald? She was born with hair. Yep. We'll put a picture. Yeah, we'll put a picture somewhere around here. And when did she take her first steps? Uh, again, that was about 11 months old. No, uh, oh yeah, when? Yeah, so she's about 11 months old. Literally she came out of nowhere. She, the same with crawling though. She made no like obvious sign she wanted to. And then one day we just noticed she was doing it. Same with walking. Does her own thing, you could say. Okay. The uh, next question is from Rob, who is uh, Sophia's uncle and Nino. Uh, My he, brother. He also has a YouTube channel, which will be linked down below. His first question is, how many teeth has she got? Sophia's got six, four at the top and two at the bottom. And I think she's got two more coming out. Yeah, at the top. At the top, yeah. And why does she eat so much? It's a very good question. Because she's your niece. Yeah. She is really she, is she loves me. food. Okay, next question is from Angelica. It is Sophia's Nino, Rob's partner. Come on, about friends. My sister in law today. Yeah. And she asks, what's currently her favourite toy? Currently. I don't know. She. She plays with the cups a lot um, and if you are new we have this, I made this vlog about which one was her favourite toy and we let her choose and I'll put the link up here. But, um, yeah so I think it's still the cups. She likes anything she can destroy, like the cups she likes because we put it, stack it all up and then she knocks it down. Yeah, she loves it. Uh, Oh, next question is from a very good looking gentleman called Selby. And he asks, why the heck is Sophia so down cute? Let's question. skip that one. No, because I'm her mummy. This is also true. <laughs> okay, next question is from Baby and Me by Caitlin Hopes, who is one of our friends. Hi, Kate! Over in Ireland. We'll put a link down below to her Facebook. Uh, which is tell us your birth story. I will be making a whole video about the labour and the delivery, so please look forward to that. 
Okay, uh, we've got a question here from Cindy, who's uh, another YouTuber. Link down below. Uh, this is similar to one before, which is what is Sophia's favourite food so far? So far, um, yeah, so just either boiled veggies or stir fried veggies, mm. anything veggie related that's been um, softened, like really soft. Yeah, no bananas. She, like, anything she can like mush. Mostly she likes the feeling in her hands as well. Next question is from Oini, who's one of our friends, and he asks two questions. Uh, actually, he's asked two, but one of them is, what is Sophia's favourite food? I think there's a recurring theme. We have a, yeah, food <laughs> theme. Uh, so the second question, which is a good one, is, what is Sophia's favourite colour? Uh, well, we talked about this earlier, didn't we? Yeah, neither of us can think of what stands out to her the most. Um, I think she's still a bit too young to choose, but we have put her in a lot of pink. <laughs> yeah. Pink, pink, pink. Cause you're girly. Pink's our favourite colour for Sophia. She rocks it. <laughs> okay. And the final question is from another YouTuber, Stephanie. Link down below. And she asks, was she an easy baby? She's still a baby. Is she an easy baby? Um, from what I've heard from my in-laws, my family, it literally seems like she is an easy baby. Because the only time she cries is when she wants food, she wants to sleep, um, or she's done a, you know, a nasty in her nappy. But um, yeah, so I, I'd say yes, she's an easy baby. Yeah, when she was really little and just sort of laid there, she was chillest. Yeah, very rarely complained about anything. She just... Yeah, because she, she could easily sleep the whole night through yeah. without being fed from the start, mm -hmm. um, from, you know, newborn. Um, so yeah, she just... I remember how old it was when we just said, right, you can sleep through the night now. Well, yeah. it was after a month because they you have to wait till they're about two, three months or something. Yeah, no, we've, we've never really had a recurring issue of her waking up in the middle of the night. No, she we're the ones who have to wake her up. Yeah, we always <laughs> had to wake her up. And like even now, she sometimes wakes up when we're just about to go to bed. But she's been teething out. quite a mm. lot as well. She's teething, she's drooling. She's got a sore bottom, yeah. but yeah, she's all in all quite easy. We thought we'd have a problem with getting her off her pacifier, but no, she didn't seem to bother. Didn't just seem to bother her when we took it off her. She now no. only has it if her teeth really hurt. Yeah, even when we moved her from co-sleeping with us to her own bed, she just slept nicely. Yeah. But yeah. So thank you very much for your questions and thank you for taking your time watching this video. If you like our channel, please subscribe. And yeah, so it is Sophia's birthday and there will be an extra video uh, during the week once I've done, once we've done cleaning up and all sorts. Um, so yeah, please check out the links below we are done setting up sophia's um birthday party even though there's only going to be three of us but yeah here is the end product that's where sophia will be in the center of it says number one on her crown ignore the glass that will go away there's her cards ignore the bookshelf We've put all of her presents there, but of course, because of the lockdown, everyone's presents were delivered to us, so we've just made do with some baggies. And then there is a bubble machine that will be turned on before she comes in. We've got a little paddling pool though filled with balls because we can't have water in it. And then we've moved the sofa. And here's where all of her t cuddly toys 
and that one in the middle is from her auntie Catherine from when she was born so yeah I can't wait to see her face for when she gets in here so thank you for watching and we will see you guys in the next vlog bye